the far right hand end of the airfield that's not displaying immediately it's going to go out and hold because we are now going to see an aeroplane that certainly has a huge amount of presence about it an aircraft that was first seen in the west nearly 30 years ago in air display terms at the Paris Air Show of 1989 and it's maintained its fascination ever since because opportunities to uh, see these aeroplanes outside the former Eastern Bloc states are few and far between but here at Riyadh both last year and this the Ukrainian Air Force has been kind enough to bring an example of what is known to NATO under its codename system as the flanker back to British air display action. And that's the next item on the program. An aircraft from the 831st Guards Tactical Aviation Brigade at Mirhorod in central Ukraine, which is the main provider of air defense for that country. It's the Sukhoi Su-27 P-1M. by the Sukhoi Design Bureau in the 1970s as the Soviet Union looked to counter potential Western opponents like the And it was intended as a heavy air superior.
exceptionally long lived and Sequoia continues to offer different versions of this day. of these maneuvers it kind of gives the visual impression that it's going very very slowly but please be under no doubt this is a huge aircraft and it is flying at typical fast jet speeds of between 350 and 450 knots when you bear in mind it has a max takeoff weight of 72,000 pounds and with a wingspan of 15 meters when compared against something like say the F-16 at 42,000 pounds or 10 meters wingspan this is 50% bigger than those other fast jets that you're going to have. it appears to be. And apart from the aircraft from the unit at uh, Mirvarod, like this one, there's a smaller Su-27 squadron stationed at Oksana in the north of Ukraine. The standard armament much the same as it was in the Soviet era. Medium range R-27 and short range R-73 air-to-air missiles, a maximum of 10 in all, plus the aircraft has an internal 30mm cannon and they said they practice close air support with these aircraft, so presumably because of the lack of air-to-ground stores, they would use the cannon for that. Now, we can tell this is an upgraded flanker because of the so-called pixelated colour scheme that's applied in blue, and that is put on the aeroplanes after they undergo a general overhaul. The same is true of other Ukrainian Air Force aircraft. And now, a slow pass with the big dorsal air brake selected. They're upgraded to two-seaters as 
as well, and the Ukrainian President Petro Poroshenko flew in one of those in 2015. The previous August, the first aircraft to emerge after the upgrade done locally by the Zaporozhye State Air Repair Plant was accepted into service. international operations under various internationally recognized regulations and that's very important because obviously the uh, Ukrainian Air Force has been turning increasingly to the West in recent years. Joint exercises have started taking place so they very much need that capability on their flankers. The display pilot as last year is Colonel Alexander Oksanchenko. He has been displaying the aircraft since 2011 and he has around 1,050 flying hours on type. We get quite a lot of paperwork to see as part of preparation for commentating on all of these aircraft. And uh, some of it for the flanker related to the sort of flying that they practice on a daily basis back in Ukraine. Of course they do one versus one, two versus two, aerial combat, and then it said melee. I like the sound of that. And there's that big air brake extended once again as the aircraft comes into land. The Ukrainian Air Force is going. Aerodynamic braking going on as well. Nice little bit of aerodynamic braking. And we're just about to see two very large brake shoots come out of the back. Wonderful display. 